today. And it's timing, but it's been very interesting because I just had my shower and then I wasn't really properly dressed and then there was this siren. Like this, oh, sorry. There was a siren that goes off and says that it's fire alarm, you have to evacuate through the nearest staircase or something like that. So I'm on an I'm on the eleventh floor. Eleventh story. Had to go down the stairs all the way down. Jet lagged and all. Haven't eaten and all. And then spend almost an hour then get up here. And it is almost eight thirty PM and dinner is still not here yet. And I am starving like crazy. It's been an interesting first day. I'm gonna see what time dinner is gonna come. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit later today just because, you know, they had that fire, that false alarm earlier today. See, I can't even talk. I'm just like fucking tired. So guys, my dinner finally came after I called them because I think they they like kind of missed out. So I just have like the mozzarella and basil pizza for tonight. Salad. They gave some cookie and a bottle of water. I'm starving. I'm gonna eat. Yes! It's my day two in manage isolation quarantine. Well, technically it's the third day, but they don't count the first day as day one. They count the first day as day zero. So they only start day one on your second day. So basically I'm on my second day, but technically it's the third day. And <sighs> today has been really overwhelming. Like, I thought, I thought it's going to be easy, you know. But I guess I underestimated the whole thing. Um, it's really hard. It's hard to be alone, you know, isolated in, and confined in a room. And as you can see, the windows behind. Because I'm on the 11th, sto uh, 11th story. You can't open the window, obviously, for safety reasons and whatnot, so... Uh, it's so quiet and... Yeah, it's, it's hard. I guess... I'm just getting over with the, the jet lag now. But I haven't been able to sleep the past few nights and... Uh, I don't want to sound like... I don't want to sound like I'm being ungrateful and complaining, but it is what it is. It's it's tough. Um, the meals that they provide hasn't been the best. Um, it's it's at the point where it's so hard to swallow food. Like everything's just tasteless or soggy or over salted. And I just kind of like miss home cooked meals. And there's no human to human interaction, obviously, so it's been hard. Really hard, so. Yeah, I guess I, I, I just feel like the day passes by real slow when you're alone and you have pretty much nothing to do and I've been taking showers like in the middle of the night like 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 2 a.m. just because I couldn't sleep and I'm constantly hungry um, yeah I don't know I just I just feel really really down today I'm just Hoping that I 
I'm just hoping that this two weeks will just pass by real fast and I just want to go home and you know get on with life and it doesn't help that you know the news keep popping up that um you know there are cases in managed isolation and whatnot so that kind of makes me feel even more nervous even more anxious and I don't want to go out like they do provide certain timings in a day where you can go out get on the bus and they'll bring you to a park and you know you can spend an hour there but I've opted out from that so far because I just I just don't want to be around a crowd you know especially when everybody's in managed isolation it just gets me nervous so what I've been doing is going to the smoking deck like late nights after midnight where everybody's asleep and there's nobody there I'll just go there just to get fresh air <sighs> yeah so I just hope that the next few days will be better I guess everything's just sinking in now now that you know I'm, I'm here and then you know having to leave my family and you know basically just start a new life here leaving everything else behind in Singapore and you know it's not a bad thing it's just overwhelming and and it's kind of like sinking in all at the same time so I've got so many emotions going and yeah pretty overwhelmed um, I'll try my best to vlog as much as I can. I can't promise because I'm just not, just not feeling it sometimes. And I hope you guys understand. And maybe when I get home and I'm with Jet, then maybe both of us can just sit down and I'll go through everything with you guys. And you know, I'll be in a, you know, in a better head space, I guess, to go through and, you know, to go through everything with you guys and give you a run down on you know how it's like from the beginning to the end so that hopefully it might help some of you out there who's trying to get back to New Zealand but yeah for now I guess I'm just gonna get into the shower get a hot shower and maybe go go down to the smoking deck to just you know be outside a bit see you guys around So I'm on day seven, so it's been exactly one week since I'm here, and um, yeah, so far it's been okay, it's been good. Um, same old thing every day, um, confined in your bedroom, I mean the hotel room, you can't really go out, and you know, if there's a new arrival or there's any new COVID cases and they have to move people around, they'll give you a notice or they give you a call and tell you like, you got to stay inside your room and you can't come out. Um, yeah, so I'm left with another week. So I'm really, really excited. I haven't really updated a lot because it's the same old, same old thing every day in here. There's really nothing much, you know. 
and it's not like I can give you guys a tour outside to look around the area because it is a controlled space and you know you've got to be respectful and not take videos or pictures that that you know involves people in here you know be respectful to the staff as well and you know the defense forces so yeah so I'm excited um, my co my my COVID test on uh, my first COVID test here in New Zealand was taken on the third day, and of course, it's negative, so I'm fine. And then um, the next the next test will be hopefully on the twelfth day if I don't fall sick or anything within these few days. Fingers crossed. I don't think so. I've been really really disciplined, and you know I've been following. You know all the instructions and rules and regulations that been that that has been in place here. Um, yeah, so hopefully on the twelfth day I'll get another test done, and then hopefully it comes out negative again, and then I can go home, and then my life will start. Like you know, I'm just excited to go back uh, to the routine life you know that we had before. It's been it's been fourteen long months one four and ha I haven't seen Jet for 14 months so you guys can imagine you know not seeing your other half for that long it, it's it's finally happening and it's a huge relief you know after this we will start immediately start processing the next step the next visa so that you know um it'll be processed on time and yeah hopefully we can come up with a date um, to to you know to move on and get a wedding going I'm not sure how soon that will be because we've spent so much money just going through all these processes like Honestly, it is five digit. We've, we've spent a uh, five digit amount just to get through all this, and it's really depleting our savings a lot. So, having a wedding at the moment, we probably will have to save up again because our only problem right now is not having a venue in catering because everything else was fully paid for. Actually, everything was fully paid for. And then, because of COVID, our venue refunded our money, our catering refunded our money. And then in the end, that money is used to get me here, you know, to pay for our processes and everything. So, all that money that Jet and I saved for the wedding is now being used, ha have been used. It's gone. So, yeah. Well, it's okay. You know, the most important thing is that we get to be together again and everything else will fall in place you know I'll just I'll, I'll believe that you know it's gonna happen eventually so yeah it'll, it'll all fall in place oh and and um, on, on the eve I would say is it the eve of New Year no on New Year itself I got a really, really great view of the um, fireworks because my window is literally facing the sky tower. And then on the same day itself, you know, my sister gave birth to my second nephew. So, yeah. That's also the day that I got my um, first COVID test result back negative. So, it's it has been a really, really great start. And I'm looking forward to the year and I hope that the whole year will be great and yeah I guess by the time you see me next time I probably will be checking out or I will already be home take care guys I start to sail along these ocean waves nobody knows nobody knows how to find us it's turning out to be a perfect day I just want to leave Earn all my lies behind us So let's get lost out here No one else out here Find ourselves out